Welcome back, Custom Grains fans. On this week's episode, I'm going to be showing you the delivery, unboxing, setting it all up, and preparing my first project ever on my Monport 60 watt, 20 inch by 28 inch CO2 laser. First things first, I am super impressed with the Monport tracking. Uh, so they gave me a tracking, and then they also gave me the phone number of the carrier that was delivering my package so each uh, carrier will be different depending on where you live um, so I had ABF deliver it uh, ABF uh, directly reached out to me to schedule a uh, delivery date and they arrived just right on time which I'm very pleased about um, and I'm very also pleased about the pallet and the packaging that Momport does on their end so they definitely take pride in making sure that the pallet is secure and safe during shipment. Here you see I am just unscrewing about 24 uh, leg screws that got screwed into the side of the pallet. And sorry for the weird camera angle here. Uh, my next door neighbor didn't want to be filmed, so I had to edit most of his body out. But I just had him help me lift the box pallet over the laser. And then up next here, you actually see me unscrew four screws that they screwed in for the legs into the pallet crate as well, just to secure the CO2 laser from shifting during shipment. And then here, they actually lowered the laser, so it's actually sitting on its legs as well with the pallet. So I'm just unscrewing it up, raising the legs off the pallet, so then I can wheel it off the pallet. Next, I am using the top of the crate, sort of as like a ramp. It somewhat works, but not really. <laughs> as you see, my neighbor and I sort of struggle on my side. <laughs> um, but it worked better than just lifting off the laser the three and a half inches off the pallet. So I'd recommend doing that, or if you had a thicker piece of scrap plywood that you could use as a ramp. And just like Christmas morning, I am unwrapping probably the best gift I've ever gotten even though this wasn't really a gift, it's a gift for myself. <laughs> um, so I'm very pleased that Momport did do their part on saran wrapping as well. I live out in the country and my crate was a little bit dusty, so I was kind of worried about gravel dust getting inside, but very thankful that Momport also did the saran wrap job. So thank you, Momport. Monport puts all the accessories inside this blue tub on the laser bed and they attach it properly so it doesn't shift during shipment. Um, the blue tub is just like a water tank. So if you don't end up getting the water chiller that Monport also sells, you just pour water, distilled water might I add, into the um, tub and then use like their pump that they give you as well. I went ahead and upgraded to the water chiller that Monport sells just because it's more efficient on the laser tube itself. I don't have to worry about dust going into the water chiller just because with the open bucket you get dust in it. Here you are watching me remove these felt bags that they put over the mirrors, which I thought was super awesome just to keep the mirrors from breaking or getting dusty during shipment. And then I'm just moving the X gantry very slowly so I don't produce any electric discharge out of the stepper motors to remove the blue bucket. And like I said, the blue bucket is everything that you need to be up and running. Uh, so there is a grounding cord, a six inch vent, your water pump, a set of tools like Allen keys and all that fun stuff, an ethernet cord and a USB cable and also your power cords for everything. So I'm plugging in the laser. It's just your normal 110 voltage here in the United States. So that's awesome. 
this was probably the most satisfying part is turning it on for the first time. Uh, so it auto homes up in the upper right hand corner. So that's awesome. And then the red dot is actually what you see is just uh, like a, your little laser guide on where the laser will actually laser itself. So that's not harmful at all. Uh, Momport went ahead and also added these foam packaging around the CO2 tube in the back. So great part on Monport's job. And here you're watching me add the tubing for the water chiller. Uh, word of advice, the outlet or the out port of the laser goes towards the inlet or import on the water chiller. And then on the water chiller, the out port or outlet goes into the inlet on the laser. Now, once you have all that set up, um, the laser is pretty much ready to go. For me, personally experience, I did not have to do any adjustments on the mirrors. I didn't even have to level the bed. Everything came pretty darn solid uh, during shipment. Now, I've heard that a lot of the times during shipment, just a mirror might get out of focus and it takes like 15 minutes to adjust a mirror. Um, make sure that you do follow along and subscribe because I will be showing you on how to adjust a mirror if you, that does occur during your shipment process. And if you're wondering, hey, custom grains, how long did this patch take to make? Uh, so this footage is sped up a little bit. Uh, the total patch time did take three minutes and 18 seconds to make. Uh, bear with you, though, um, that this leather is completely new product for me, so I didn't do any testing on what burns the best. So I could be definitely off shooting these numbers, and probably I would speed up this process uh, for my next patch that I do make. So I really can't complain at all on how efficient this laser is for being 60 watt as well. Once that leather patch is done, go ahead and take your hat. And uh, I'm actually using this type of leather that has like a 3M adhesive on the backing, so I didn't actually have to do any heat press or any sewing. And uh, I'm definitely surprised on how amazing this laser does, laser, uh, just for being only a 60 watt. So thank you very much. And uh, yeah, make sure you follow along, follow along the journey, and uh, even you can create stunning projects just like this.